A PA woman is giving back to veterans in the Southern Tier one quilt at a time through an organization called Quilts of Valor. Zobin Wise, Alexandra Dern, talked to her about her volunteer efforts and commitment to honoring veterans. Alexandra? Marsha, Quilts of Valor is a nationally known organization that gives handmade quilts to honor veterans for their service. Right now, this woman has over 150 quilts to work on with a group of volunteers in the Southern Tier. She tells me there's no such thing as too much work because she is constantly working on ways to give back. Quilts are to give our veterans a little love and it also makes them so if they're having a hard time, we tell them wrap up in your quilt. You get a little hug that way. Tony Bordet has been a volunteer with Quilts of Valor for nearly seven years. The nationally known organization gives handmade quilts to honor veterans for their service. Bordet says the idea for Quilts of Valor started in 2003. A veteran's mother had a dream of wrapping her son in a quilt whenever he was lonely. Bordet loved the idea of caring for veterans and letting them know that they are not alone. Once I found out about it, I went, oh yeah, this is where I'm going to be. <laughs> so... Um, because I've always felt that veterans need to be thanked. When the Vietnam War moving wall came to Elmira, Burdett had a Quilts of Valor tent set up. The organization received over 150 applications for veterans to receive quilts that week. We plan on taking care of all of them, and that's more quilts than we normally do a year locally. So we got like <laughs> a year's worth extra, <laughs> but it's okay because they'll all be taken care of. Bordette says there's no such thing as too much work because she enjoys giving back to the soldiers who gave the ultimate sacrifice serving this country. They need thanked and they need a hug. You know, they need to be known that it needs for them to be known that we all care, you know, and some of us might care more than the others, but I think deep down most people care for our veterans.